What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're going to be going over all of the new Zero Gravity players in NBA 2K22, my team. So this is the first set we have ever had where they've started off on 91 overalls. So there are no rubies, lads. There are no ruby cards in my team. Um, where there are no ruby cards probably in packs from now on. So we have got... Jason Richardson, David Thompson, Jalen Brown, Josh Smith, Aaron Gordon, Kobe Bryant, DeAndre Jordan, Kenny Walker, Dennis Smith Jr., Blake Griffin, Paul George, Zach Levine. The player that I'm most looking forward to is this Josh Smith. I have a feeling they made him a Demi. I feel they made him a Demi, and I have a weird feeling Kobe Bryant's going to be a Demi as well. But let's take a look at Skywalker and Amethyst Dennis Smith Jr. first. So Dennis Smith Jr. is an Amethyst. Four hops. And they're giving Amethyst four hops, which is cool. Half quick first step, okay defensive badges, no interior really. Bad tendencies. But he's a base 113 on quick, which is an okay release, which is the same as like Derek Anderson or Omonero. He's a quick dribble style, which again is pretty good. Which is not pretty good, it's the best. Long athlete is gonna dunk on people. He'll hit wide open jumpers. He'll be kind of fun. He'll be very fun. I don't think he'll be great by any means, but like. He'll be very fun to use in my team. I don't think anyone's gonna complain that this card's absolutely ass, but like, he'll be he'll be okay. Kenny Walker. Now this guy has potential. He has potential. Ninety speed, ninety acceleration. Ninety eight driving dunk. Okay, defense. Uh, no, he's not him. Base twenty six on quick though is incredibly chick. With shifty dribble style. He's not going to be terrible because he's got a big player build at the small forward. No one's really going to use him. No one's really uh, going to use him. So, um, Kenny Walker's fine at small forward position. But he's, he's not going to be great. Like, neither of these guys are bad cards. Neither of these two are bad cards. They're not brilliant either. Okay, so we got DeAndre Jordan. He's got to have like 90-something speed to be useful. 88 speed, 25 three-pointer. 88 speed, 84 steal, 97 block, 95 driving dunk. He was at 10 hoffs. Eight of them on the defensive end. All right. He's usable. DeAndre Jordan is usable. Apparently, Ned Lickie's a Trey Murphy clown, which is hilarious. Set shot 17 on normal. You're not shooting with DeAndre Jordan anyway. Like, if you're looking for an interior, he's not terrible. He's not terrible as interior. He's like a way better version of, like... He's not good. He's not good. Don't get me wrong. He's not good. He's not unusable. He's not absolutely unusable. Because, like, he's a he's an interior. I mean, that's what you're, you're kind of getting with this card. Like, you're getting an interior big. And we had Diamond Kobe Bryant. Kobe on normal with all Kobe sigs. 93 pointer, gold range, okay defense. He's just a pink diamond, isn't he? He's really, he's just a pink diamond. Bane, he's probably got 69 different total stats. He loses blinders, gets hustler, gets hyperdrive and gold. He's, he's the pink diamond. He's literally just the pink diamond, Kobe. And everyone being like, oh, Kobe Ryan's on normal timing is terrible. Like, this Kobe is Kobe on normal timing. And this Kobe's really good. But, like, I'm going to definitely get Kobe. He's going to be a cheap card. It's going to be a really cheap card for um, for guys who like Kobe Bryant. And for everyone wondering why he doesn't get his release on quick, the reason why he can't get his release on quick is that his Dark Matter has a release on quick. And they can't really make his diamond better than the Dark Matter. Which would happen if he got his release on quick. So they can't really do that. Uh, then we have got Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon with quick dribble stop. With, not quick dribble stop, but a release quick could be insane. So Aaron Gordon, 93 3 ball, 92 speed, 92 acceleration. Okay, he's got pretty much perfect stats. Like I said, he's got, his stats are fine. His stats are absolutely fine. Um, Offensively, or badges wise, I mean, maybe you'd like him to come with some dribbling badges, but he doesn't need them. You'd maybe like him to come intercept or intercept on half. Shifty dribble style, Aaron Gordon, a very quick, okay. 
Normal behind the back is good. Alright, Iron Gordon might be him. Iron Gordon really might be him. Like, he could be. He could be one of the best guys coming out today. 99 driving to 98 standing. No, I'm telling you, he could be. He really could be him. Like, Iron Gordon could be him. But Josh Smith is the guy I'm most looking forward to in all of, of all, out of all today. Quick dribble stop. Brooke Lopez on quick. Harden behind the back. 97 driving, like 87 three ball. Range, corner specialist, catch and shoot. Quick first step, downhill, half interceptor, clamps and timid air, pogo. His defensive animations are ridiculous. Tennessee is ridiculous. Holy crap, Josh Smith is him. Josh Smith is him. At that small forward position. Josh Smith is H-I, capital H-I-M. Josh Smith is him, lads. What is up with Josh Smith? Like, he was God... This card was God tier for his time. This card was God tier for his time. And this card is God tier for his time. For anyone saying... Like, people saying he's not that much better than the Diamond. The Diamond comes what's Five half badges? Six. He comes with nine extra half badges. He also comes with Quick Dribble Style instead of Slasher. And Brook Lopez on Quick. This is a huge difference. This is a huge difference. He's just better. He's better Scotty... He's Scotty Barnes, like. He's just Scotty Barnes. Honestly, he's just Scotty Barnes. Josh Smith's in insanely good. So then we got Jalen Brown, Jay Rich, and Dave Thompson. All three of these guys have potential because David Thompson's release is stupidly quick. So these guys all have potential. 94 3, 95 speed, 95 acceleration, unbelievable defense, perfect dunking. 92, okay, good tendencies. 6 6, 6 11 wingspan. Half range, half sniper, half chef, half blinders, catch and shoot, candles for days, downhill, quick first step. Thank you for the sub. Um. All these defensive badges, okay. Shifty, base 75 on quick, staff behind the back. Pro 2 leaner, which is okay. Now, nah, Jalen Brown's really good as well. Jalen Brown is really, really good as well. There's no bad cards in this set, like... Like, as in, I don't think these Amethysts are terrible. I don't think DeAndre Jordan's terrible. Kobe's good, but from Kobe on, these have all been beasts so far. He's, like, he's really good. Then we've got David Thompson. This is the card that I'm most looking forward to in this set because I have a weird feeling he's going to be a Demi. 50 interior. I mean, Ty's going to hate this card. But he does have a 92 block to kind of make up for that. 98 driving dunk. Base 8 on, fair, on quick. Wait, what? What was wrong with jump shot? Wait, why? Base 9 is was super quick. Why? Why do you even base 8? Why did you make him a Dominique clone? Why? No, he's, he's not good. He's not good. He's not good. He's not good. I thought base nine are very quick. And you're like, okay, this guy could be a demon. I mean, got good defensive stats, I guess. Intimidator maybe makes up for the interior a bit. No, D David Thompson's not good. Jay Rich, however. Base 56. What? What was wrong with his release? What was wrong with base 31? Sh At least he's got shifty. And I mean, base 56 on quick is good. It's Chris Middleton. Still, though, what was wrong with his release? Good dunk. Really good shooting. Um, Really, really good on defense. Jay Rich is really good. Jay Rich is really, really good. Like, this is one of the best. This is one of the best wings in the game. Two guys in the game, honestly. Like, this is actually a really, really good card. I'm just kind of disappointed because I think 31 is better than 56. No, this is a really, really good card. This is one of the, like, J. Rich versus Jalen Brown. I think I'm taking J. Rich. I think I'm honestly taking J. Rich over Jalen Brown. But still, the best player that's out today so far is Josh Smith. Okay, so Blake Griffin, Paul George, Zach Levine. Okay, so Blake Griffin. Holy crap. He may as well have 99 every stat. Let's just check out badges. Chase and Artist clamps and Deceptor, Pogo, Rebound Chaser. Holy crap. 69 badges. Oh my god. Oh my god, Blake is the best. <laughs> Blake is the damn best. Oh my god. 
Blake is genuinely the damn best. Blake, I'm very quick. He's the best. This might be the best power forward in the game. What? Oh my god. Like, everyone's saying Blake is a garbage man. It was because this card had some of the worst stats in the game for an Opal. This card is... What? He's so damn good. I told you guys yesterday there was potential. Paul George, perfect stats-wise. No point looking at them. Blinders, catch and shoot, chef. Going special. Okay. Okay, 10 defensive badges. Hall of Fame. 27 halves. Wow. Shifty, PG on quick. Scotty Band back. So, basically Cam Reddish. He's basically Cam Reddish with a better behind the back and better interior. That's basically what we're getting. Paul George is going to be God, though. He's going to be insane. Paul George is going to be insane. Like, I'm telling you, this guy is one is maybe the best two-guard in all of my team. I have people in my chat right now. I'm live on Twitch calling him mid. Nah, he's... I think he might be he might be the best two-guard in the game. Not by much. Not by much. It's not like he's significantly better than Reddish, but he might be the best. Then we got Levine. 96 speed, 96 acceleration, 95 three ball, 98 driving dunk. Really solid defense. Good defensive badges. Great playmaking. Wow. Wow. Zach Levine, very quick. Quick dribble style. Scotty behind the back. Like... His signature size up is pretty good as well. Like he's not MJ. He's not MJ, but he might he might be better than Clyde. He might be, like he's no MJ, but he might be better than Clyde. So yeah, for this set right here, this set is a joke how good it is. It is a joke how good this set is. So let me explain. We've got arguably a top three point guard in my team. In Levine. We've got arguably the best two guard in the game in Paul George. We've got arguably the best power forward in the game in Blake Griffin. We have got two absolutely elite two guards in Jason Richardson and Jalen Brown. David Thompson sucks. We have got maybe the best budget card in the game in Josh Smith. We got Aaron Gordon, who is literally a this much worse Josh Smith. Aaron Gordon is Josh Smith, but this much worse. Then we got Kobe Bryant, who is literally the pink diamond Kobe. Kenny Walker is a beast of an amethyst. Like... This set of cards right here is insanely, insanely good, lads. I'm telling you, this set of cards is brilliant. We've got, we have got a, eight players that you would consider, a lot of people consider using, depends on what level they are in the game on their squad. Eight players. Like this set's so damn good. I don't care what anyone says. This set is insanely, insanely good. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. As much as people in my chat are wanting to call this a mid-drop, this for me is far, far from a mid-drop. So, anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.